I charge it home really cheap or often totally free. Brendan is one of my many viewers who charge their EVs totally free. You petrol owners, in contrast, cannot top up at home, nor top up for free, and often have to travel as far as 10 miles to find cheaper fuel, and then face huge queues when you get there. Why don't more potential EV owners who believe they cannot charge at home and therefore can't have a car, why don't they do a bit of basic research and discover how to charge at home at ridiculously cheap overnight rates when they only have on-street parking? Or maybe teach them how to charge for free. I'm Dave, welcome to Dave Takes It On. Well, only around 30% of UK houses are limited to on-street parking, so not the majority, but a sizeable number. I launched a video a while back, a uh, link for that down below, showing how you can charge at home, even if you only have on-street parking. But it's recently just got far more interesting. The UK government is now offering grants to EV owners to install pavement gullies and home charging sockets. So before we look at what is now available, let's look at EV home charging and why everybody wants it so badly and why people believe they can't buy an EV without it. Well, a petrol car doing the average 45 mile per gallon at today's prices, petrol will pay between 13 and 16 pence per mile driven, depending on where they fill up. An EV charged at a public charger will pay anywhere between 0 and 20 pence a mile, depending on where they choose to charge. An EV charged at home will pay less than 2 pence per mile driven. Well, these are simply staggering differences. Zero cost per mile? Yeah, many EV drivers do not pay to charge their EVs. By the way, why don't I always charge for free? Well, I often do, but charging at home is just so ridiculously easy, convenient and cheap. I really hate having to go anywhere else to charge, even if it's free. At home, I pull in, I park, plug in, unplug the next morning, drive off with a full battery every single day. I often simply can't be bothered making any extra effort to go out and look for and maybe get free charging. So first, is it worth the cost of a home charger? Well, many EV motorists actually do not need to invest in a proper, proper 7 kilowatt home charger. Many happily manage with a suitable, cheap, external, weatherproof socket, professionally installed up to current electricity regulations, for a fraction of the price. And that offers 3 kilowatts. There are the more powerful solutions without getting home charger where you can go up to 11 kilowatts. Well, a few quick facts. The UK average mileage is 8,000 miles. Second cars generally cover more like three to 5,000 miles a year. The main family cars and commuters, they head up towards about 10,000 a year. Incredibly few drivers do more than 15,000 a year, and they're mostly business drivers. So at 8,000 miles a year, that works out about 140 miles a week. A petrol car has a fuel tank that generally offers between three and 500 miles of range. So it only needs to fill up roughly once every two weeks. An EV has a battery that's generally good for between 150 and 300 miles, even in the winter, so it only needs to be recharged roughly once every week or so. So the first huge revelation, neither car needs to be topped up full every single day. And yes, that applies equally to LFP batteries, despite what some of you uh, choose to believe. Some people may choose to charge every day, 99% don't need to charge every day. There's a huge difference. Let me now state all the reasons people claim to prove they can't uh, charge from home, therefore can't have an EV. First and foremost, you've got no off-street parking. <laughs> yeah, that one's so totally obvious. 
30% of you don't. So what you should you do? You should park on the street and charge your EV from home. Next, you can't always guarantee to be able to park outside your own house every single night. True, but for home charging, you don't need to. We've already established that EV only needs charging once a week. So once a week, you should manage to get outside your own house on the street and charge your EV. By the way, I find it impossible to believe that you cannot ever park outside your house, not even once within a total of 168 hours available to you each week. Next reason, you cannot park outside overnight so you can't get the cheap rate. Well, why don't you just get a cheap day rate? There are some out there, like OVO anytime. You charge anytime during the week, clues in the name. Well, next, you say you claim you cannot trail a cable across the pavement. Totally obvious once again, so don't do it. There are a multitude of overhead or underground cable options available to you. And that, by the way, is where the UK government has just come down on your side. You can now get a grant towards the cost of doing what you have to do to get your charging cable from your house to your EV safely and legally. Uh, much more on this shortly. Some people say, cannot afford a home charger. OK, go and get a free one. There are loads on offer. Some of the new EVs, they offer free chargers with the car. Many utility companies, they offer you a free charger if you switch to one of their numerous cheap rate EV tariffs. Don't pay for one. Well, it's too much hassle. OK, don't bother. OK, so back to getting the cable from the house to your EV. Well, it is obviously illegal and totally stupid to trail cables across pavements. There are only two ways of doing it, legally and safely, overhead, underground. Isn't that a womble song? Uh, anyway, overhead first. If you can park your car reasonably close, an overhead solution might be best for you. We're showing some here. And they do have their place. They're quick and easy, relatively cheap. But for most people, the first choice will be a pavement gully. Gully is simply a device. It's channeled into the pavement, so it lies flush, and it does not offer any form of tripping hazard. These will normally have an opening or semi-rigid covering at the top to make inserting the cable quick and easy. I'm not going to go into details about how they're installed because most of them differ, but all of them are really quite quick and easy. Well, the UK government this year launched a grant specifically for those of you who have no off-street parking. Yes, at last you get some help. You will need to get permission from whoever owns or controls the pavement. It's usually a local or county council. Some in the past have been reluctant to give permission, but with the government now offering grants towards the cost of those who do, it is getting much more difficult for them to refuse. Well, full details are available, gov.uk on the web, uh, but in essence, since March this year, 2024, uh, and until March next year, 2025, you can apply for a grant of up to £350 towards the cost of installing a suitable socket for EV charging, providing you install a suitable approved pavement gully. As no grant just for installing the socket, you must install a gully using an approved installer to get that grant. Well, many people will see this as not worth the effort. Might well not be for some people. So why should someone consider paying, say, around about £1,000 to get a suitable EV charging socket and gully installed? Well, go back to average figures. An average petrol car driver buys 178 gallons, about 800 litres of fuel a year, and that will cost £1,120 at today's prices. Yeah, there are some garages offering a few pence here or there, but you might have to drive some distance to get it. 
An EV driver using a standard variable tariff, no off-peak rate, will pay around £500, while an EV driver switching to a cheap rate EV tariff, like Ovo or Octopus, will pay just £140 a year. That's about one-tenth of the price. You'll save nearly £1,000 in the first year. So if it costs you £1,000 to install, you make or lose nothing in the first year, but then you make £1,000 every single year that you keep your EV. Now, for most of us, we lease or buy on finance. That's usually over three or four years. So you could easily save £3,000 on fuel by spending £1,000 on a charger with a charger socket with a gully. That's what I call a, a good investment. And all it takes is a little bit of effort. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave. If you have liked it, click the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and uh, click the notification bell. We can notify you every time we launch a video. And a big thank you, as always, to our Patreon members. I'm Dave.